Hey everybody, somebody out there, or somebody's, one or two or more, must have said a prayer for me. Um, today, uh, I went shopping. I said, you know what, I'm going to break out the credit card. I got to get groceries. I don't have any groceries in this house, blah, blah, blah. Going to do it. Well, then I ended up taking my son shopping, and that usually involves more money. But I said to myself, I'm just going to, I'll use the credit card. I'll get what we got to get. And somewhere down the line, I'll make payments on the credit card and I'll pay off. But I got to I gotta get these things because I had this list sitting here for like a month. So I went shopping and I was like, oh my God, I spent way too much money. I, and I'm like, oh my God. So then I was like, oh, oh, it's payday. I hope I got enough money in my paycheck to pay my rent. And I'm like, I don't know. I might not have enough. Even though I left some money for my last check, you get paid every two weeks. Left some money in the, in the bank so that it would go with this check to make sure I had enough to pay the rent. And I'm like, well, then I'll just have to, you know, pull the belt string a little tighter for two weeks and blah, blah, So not touch the credit card again. So I get home. Um, I was busy cooking crap and working on projects. And by the way, that's a project. It's a lawn ornament. That's the board I'm drawing on. And then I got to cut it out with a jigsaw. Anyway, so I get home. I'm making this big pot of stuff that I'm putting in freezer bags. It's all veggies from the garden with sausage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I call it my version of ratatouille. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's right. It's paycheck. I got I, I to gotta check my online paycheck stub whatever thing so I, I pull it up and um it's really weird it's uh everything's paperless so it's uh it gets emailed to me and i open up the email with a password it shows me my pay stub i'm like am i seeing things look at that i have enough to pay the rent not only do i have enough to pay the rent i got money left over i'm like what the heck is this so i look at my paycheck a little closer i'm like what Duh. i got a raise i got a dollar fifty an hour raise so here's the story behind that. I was told that a certain person was saying that they had gotten a lot more than a dollar fifty an hour raise, and I was like, "Oh my god, if I get that much money, that would really be nice." And then I thought to myself, then kind of I was thinking, "That's that's maybe that's not real." So somebody else said, "No, that person didn't get that much." Blah blah blah. And I said, "Listen," I had my talk with myself. Listen, self. If I even get a dollar an hour raise, I must be thankful. I must be thankful because. I had said, and I've said it before, I just need to exist, you know, have money to pay my bills and things, and I'd like to have money for some extras, do crafts and things, make people happy, and I'll be happy. So I said, and even if I get a dollar an hour, maybe that's not much of a difference, but I have to be thankful for it, and I want to thank God for it, because I said, I want to sign that this is where I'm supposed to be, this job is where I'm supposed to be, and if I even get so much as a dollar an hour raise, I'll know that that's the sign from God. So not only is God got a sense of humor, and God uh, is fa God faithful, but God has a sense of humor because the raise was a dollar fifty. Am I talking too fast? Yes, because I, I just sometimes I'm overwhelmed by how these things work out. And, I, and just a, another thing I want to say, I saw some um, videos earlier about somebody was saying about somebody talking about how bad their finances are all the time. That's not what I ever do when I'm doing this. What I'm trying to say is and maybe I say it the wrong way or maybe I go about it in the wrong way. I'm trying to show that I, if you believe that you're walking the way you're supposed to walk and that you ask God for things, God answers your prayers. And I said, and that's why it's so strange. I said, even a dollar an hour would be a sign that this job is where I'm supposed to be and that <clears throat> I'm going to stay there. And it was a dollar 50 an hour. I mean, are you kidding me? That's, that's how, I'm, I mean, that's really off the wall. So, um, am I going to get rich? No, but I didn't ask for rich. I didn't ask to be rich. I just said, I want to be able to pay my bills. I want to be able to have money for crafts and, you know, the necessities of life. And the only other thing I was, I was really worried about ever after all this was my vehicle. I, I wanted to make sure um, my vehicle was okay. So I'm sitting here, I see how much money I raise is, and I'm like, oh my God, you are so funny. Not only did you give me the dollar to show me that, yes, this is where I'm supposed to be, but threw in an extra 50 cents, which I haven't even figured out how much more that is per paycheck, you know, when you look at the financial part of it. But I'm, I'm laughing about it, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, so you came through, you gave me the dollar 50 an hour raise. I'm really excited, happy. I know where I'm supposed to be there. Thank you, thank you. But the vehicle's still a piece of crap. And the voice in my head said, but it hasn't broke down yet. <laughs> So I, I know all that sounds weird to some people and, and, and I know some maybe it sounds weird to me and I'm not even saying it right, but the power of believing is unbelievable. I believed that I was going to get a sign and I did. And here's the funny thing about this. Apparently there's a, one of the girls that's worked there and she said that she's been there 10 years. That she hasn't had a raise, raise in 10 years. See, not only was the power big enough for me to get a raise, it was big enough for people who hadn't had a raise in 10 years to get one. See, 
This is why this is such a, an amazing, unbelievable story, but true story. So, all those that you helped out there and prayed for me, thank you, thank you, thank you. And no more doom and gloom. I'm back to happy, happy. I'm at the job I'm supposed to be. God's still watching out for me. And my vehicle's still running, even though it smells really bad. And <laughs> I'll be back with a video after I make some more projects, including that, that little guy right there. Take care. Good night.